This is going to be the ultimate vehicle warehouse guide. I'm going to show you how to buy it, what the vehicle warehouse is, the money you get from it, and the best way to use it. As I'm making this video, it is double money at the minute, which makes it the perfect time to use this guide. If you find it useful, make sure to subscribe. It would really help me out. And let's get on with the video. So first things first, how to buy a vehicle warehouse. This is a little bit annoying because you can't actually buy the vehicle warehouse without owning a CEO office first. So to buy a CEO office, you have to go to the internet on your phone, then go to Dynasty 8 and all the offices will be here for you. Right now they're on discount. So again, perfect time to buy one. It really doesn't matter which one you buy, it's all personal preference. Go with the cheapest one for me, which is $1 million, Maze Bank West. Now, when you're choosing what to buy, again, doesn't matter at all. The only one I'd really recommend is the accommodation. For some reason, I bought the safe on here. Ignore that, you don't need it. You don't even need the accommodation. It's just gonna let you spawn here if you want to. So once you've bought the CEO office, head inside and then you wanna head over to this computer over here. Now, before you sit down at this computer, you wanna register as a CEO. And to do that, you have to go to your interaction menu, then go down to register as a boss and go to secure serve CEO. Now you are officially a CEO. You can sit down at your computer and you wanna go to vehicle cargo. From here, you are gonna see all the available vehicle warehouses. Again, they are discounted this week and it really doesn't matter which one you buy. It doesn't affect anything at all. So for me, I've gone for the cheapest vehicle vehicle warehouse that you can buy because it's actually in a good location as well. It's right next to the motorway, making it easy to get to it. The only other one I would probably recommend is also this one here because for the same reasons, it's right next to the motorway. But this is completely your choice. So what is the vehicle warehouse and how do you use it? The short answer is you source a vehicle. You then go and fetch the vehicle, bring it back to the warehouse, modify the vehicle, and then sell it on for a profit. There are 32 different types of vehicles. There's 12 high end, 10 medium medium end and 10 low end. These all represent values. So the high end vehicles are gonna give you $80,000 every time you sell one. The medium will give you 50,000 and the low will give you 30,000. How do you source a vehicle? So you can't actually do it from the vehicle warehouse, which makes no sense as this is the place you are gonna spend the most time. Instead, you have to go back to your CEO office, head back to your computer, click on vehicle cargo, and then click source vehicle. Now that is the normal way to do it. There is actually two ways you can source the vehicle. The second way I would definitely recommend more if you have the money to get it. You have to use a terabyte. So if you own a terabyte, you can do it this way. <laughs> Well, that was rude. What you want to do is head inside and go to this big screen here and then just click on vehicle cargo and source a vehicle. This is going to save you a lot of time having to head back to your CEO office. Now, one thing that is definitely worth mentioning is when you steal a vehicle, you're going to have a repair cost in the bottom right. This is going to go up whenever you crash the vehicle or get shot at and you're going to have to pay this as soon as you actually deliver the vehicle. So you definitely want to keep that as low as possible. It's also worth mentioning that if you have no money and you can't afford the repair cost, your mechanic mechanic will actually pay the repair cost for you. So don't worry about not having enough money to pay the repair cost. There is also a way you can only source high-end vehicles. So as you know, you can get top range, medium range, and standard range vehicles. And when you source it, it's completely random. We also know that there's 32 vehicles and you cannot get duplicate vehicles until after you have all 32. So what you wanna do is source all of the standard and medium range vehicles and do not sell them. Just keep them there because then you'll have 10 standard range, 10 medium range, and any vehicle you source from that point on will be a top range vehicle guaranteed. Getting your business to this point is very important if you want to make a lot of money. So how do you sell the vehicles? All you want to do is come to your actual vehicle warehouse, not the CEO office this time, and go inside this door and there'll be a computer in here. Head to that. Once you're sat down at the computer, select the vehicle that you want by pressing export. Head up to this button here and press export. Now you're going to have three choices. And like I said before, this is double money right now. So usually for anyone not watching, when it's not double money, this will be half. You have a private, a showroom, and a specialist dealer. You always want to go for the specialist dealer. You don't really have any reason to go for any of these two. Usually I will get $100,000 back for a high-end vehicle and $20,000 to modify the vehicle. So I'm effectively making $80,000. You can also get four friends to help you with this. So you can sell four cars at one time if you do want to. It is also worth mentioning that if you sell in a public lobby, you're going to get 2% more money per player in that lobby, up to a maximum of 20 people. So you can earn 40% more money on top of the $80,000 
thousand that you get. So once you've confirmed it, you will then start modifying the vehicle. Modify it however you want. It's all free. This is more for people that just enjoy modifying cars. You can do whatever you want to it for free. It doesn't matter though, because you aren't going to keep the car. You are selling it. All right, so you've got a fully modified vehicle and now you are on the way to sell it in a public lobby. One method is to just drive and follow the dock. You're also going to get chased by NPCs and these are really, really hard to avoid unless you use a cargo bob. And the other method is as soon as you set off, you want to go into your CEO abilities and use ghost organization. This is going to give you three minutes off the radar because your car is going to show up as a massive red car on the minimap. If that runs out, you can also call Lester and go off the radar for $500. That will give you another minute. Now, just like when you collected the vehicle, there is a repair cost. So you want to make it to the market without any damage to the vehicle to get the most amount of money possible, which is why you could use a cargo bob if you wanted. I find that method a little bit boring. I prefer to drive the cars. So there we go. Delivered it. I'm going to get 198000 because it is double money. And it's as easy as that. That is one of the most fun businesses in the game right now. There is a 20 minute cooldown on the vehicle sells. So why wait in? Go and source some more vehicles. If this video has helped you out, make sure to leave a like. It lets me know that you've enjoyed this sort of content. Also subscribe and I will see you in the next video.